Hello there folks, it is TIJ Gaming and welcome to a brand new video. Today it is time for the 6th episode of Season 3 of the Tour de France 2020 Pro Team Career Mode with the TIJ Racing Team. And today it is a biggie. It is the finale of the second tour of the season Paris-Nice. We are not in with a shout, at least, unless an absolute miracle happens of winning the general classification. But we have a good chance of winning the polka dot and the green jersey. So if you go on to enjoy today's video, make sure to hit the like button, comment your thoughts down below, of course, after the video, and subscribe if you haven't done already for regular Tour de France content. Right, all that promotional crap is out of the way. Let's talk about the previous two stages. In fact, let's not talk about stage five. That was a time trial. Let's not discuss that. But stage six was actually quite positive. We managed to get Van Baal, who finished just behind Dillier. It was pretty much a photo finish on the line. Um, but we did really well. The breakaway actually managed to win the stage, and that's something that rarely happens. Um, especially, it happens in mountain stage, but not in a stage that's uh, just hilly. But we absolutely bossed the best climber classification on the free climbs we got over the top of the climbs all in first. Um, and we did very well in the points classification, as you can see as well. 65 points for Van Baal. So an individual performance, I guess you can say, but a really good one on the day. As I say, going into the last two stages, we're not in the fight when it comes to the general classification. But when it comes to the climbing classification, we're eight points behind Malar with Van Baal and uh, 13 points behind with uh, Teo Gagenhart. So we've got two men in the fight for that. Uh, as you can see, Van Baal, only one point behind Malar. Uh, he did really well in the last stage. That's massively pulled up. Now, Ben Swift is in with an outside chance. He's 35 points behind, so still plenty of points to play for. And in the young rider classification, if Pogacar really screws it up, then we've got an outside chance there. But we're going for two jerseys today, and uh, hopefully we can get them. We added another 34 points to our pro cycling total as well last time out, so that was all lovely jubbly. And now it is time for the penultimate stage of Paris-Nice. Today's route is hilly and a leg breaker. Perfect for attacking, which should suit the punches, and an opportunity to lead the general classification. Even if the stage isn't really within our scope, you've got to stay vigilant for the general classification. Good race to you all! Hello and welcome to all. Almost 200 kilometers, numerous short climbs, more than 2,500 meters of vertical gain, and a final stretch over irregular terrain that will seriously test the rider's legs today. A real leg breaker that can only be conquered by a man in really good form. No pressure there then. Welcome to the penultimate stage of this Paris-Nice tour. Now we've got two objectives in today's stage. Now the first one is quite generic. I've had it many times before and that's to finish in the first turn to Itao Gagenhart. That's fair enough. But this next one I have to say is uh, pretty, pretty uh, precise. Score 21 points in the points classification with Van Baal. I mean, I'd get 20 points, 50 points, sure, but 21, that is very, very specific. Now, one thing I have noted for today, and this is a huge plus, is that apart from Valentin Maduas, who just doesn't seem up for it this tour, um, and maybe we should have picked Quintana instead, but, oh well, that's that's our loss, we've done it now. The rest of the riders actually look in pretty good nick. That might uh, not be the case after this one, but Van Baal in particular looks really, really good. So I'm going to plan to go in the early breakaway with Van Baal to try and get some points in that first sprint. As you can see, it's sort of the second half of the stage where things start to get really exciting. There's a second class climb as well, hidden in there just before the penultimate sprint. So we're going to try and get in the breakaway with uh, Van Baal. Also with Ben Swift, if possible. Uh, but we're not going to make the first move here. We're going to wait for somebody to make a move. Um, we'll get Ben Swift to follow attacks. And uh, if anybody makes a move, then we will go with them with Van Baal. So here we are then for the first sprint of the day. We've got a breakaway of three, which is good news. And uh, I've been listening to the sports director and he spoke about both of these guys. And Pedersen seems to be one who's willing to be in a breakaway. And he is the best sprinter of the group. Uh, Cosner Freud's good in the mountains. Pedersen not so much so. So... Again, we've got, we've got a challenge from these two, and there are two guys, Bargwill and Simon, or Simon, who is uh, right on our back. And I think Bargwill, he's probably going for it, I would guess, more for the mountain passes. But I just want to make sure that uh, Ben Swift gets some points here. Uh, yeah, all the, all of these guys that are in good nick, go for it on the sprint. Uh, like I say, Medeus, not so much. But there are still 10 points available in the peloton. Nobody here that's uh, really going to go too much for the 
uh, intermediate sprints bar. Girl looks pretty good. I just want to take a bit of our blue fee probably here. There is a bigger group now, so we have got that advantage of uh, being able to chill a bit more. Cosnefroy has uh, gone back a bit, actually. Going to take Pedersen's wheel here. Oh, he seems to be struggling. Well, never mind him being the best sprinter in the group, eh? Well, there's not much of a competition here, is there? Just does some bar will. Want to make sure we get the 20 points, though. Well, that wasn't as much of a competition as I thought it would be. Need to be careful we don't blow up, so we're just going to tell him to wait for the next group. Follow, don't override. But let's just uh, go back to Ben Swift. Where's he placed? Oh, he's in eighth. Oh, look at our guys. They're looking pretty good here. Just tell uh, Gagenhart, Bierge to attack and about the rest of them. Looking pretty good, though, here with our guys. All okay. oh, that red gel is going to come to an end quite soon. But they're all struggling, I think, here. So might be best to put in a good amount of pace. And this should be night for Ben Swift. We'll take that. We will take that every day of the week. Particularly because it doesn't look like the green jersey man's took anything there. G Gagenhart gets three. That's who gets the other two. Bjerg gets two. No points for the green jersey man. Who is the green jersey man now? It's Malar. So no points for him. That means then that because he scored 20 points there, Van Baal moves up to the top. Of uh, those standings, which is pretty impressive. I'm absolutely chuffed with that. Move up to the top of the sprinter standings. We just need to control this now in the breakaway. Because we have used a lot of our energy there. We just need to be careful about this now. Because obviously we've got that second class climb. It's not for a while yet. So hopefully we can recover a bit on the energy front. But I'm just going to keep an eye on that. Because again, we are competing on uh, several fronts here with Van Baal. And having Barguil up here as well. If he wins the oh, if he wins the uh, stuff on the mountain passes, then we have got a bit of a problem. Well, I'm going to let this little breakaway go. I think we were in a breakaway before, and the guys in the breakaway have actually changed, apart from Simon. But we've hardly got any energy left on the blue front, and I just don't want to burn Van Baal out too much. There's nobody who's too risky for the standings in terms of the polka dot jersey. So we do lose quite a bit by being out of this breakaway, but we haven't got much feed left on uh, our blue gel, so I just want to make sure Van Baal's okay. I don't want to exert him too much, and uh, I think the peloton will probably catch back up to him now, and I'm okay with okay with that for the moment. Again, if we lose points on this first climb, then you know that that's just a, a necessary evil, if you like. I'll tell you what, this stage seems to have gone on a long time already, and we're only into the last 100 kilometres, but we are into the second half of the stage. Now, I said in the last cut that uh, losing points on this first climb is going to be a necessary evil, but we waited for somebody who, thank God, came out of the peloton, not from our team, but somebody came out of the peloton, um, attacked, and with his help, I think there was two guys who managed to catch back up to these guys, but we have been a bit ruthless in that we haven't really worked with our opponents. We've made sure that we've got our energy back. There's been a few downhill sections, but we've just followed, really, as you... Uh, we'll see here. We've hardly took any of the relays uh, for this group. 6%. So, we've been a bit ruthless, to be honest. But, uh, you know, you have to be sometimes. We do get a feed, luckily, after this. But we've got plenty of energy now. There's nobody in this group that's a real problem. Uh, Posso Vivo has got 11 points in the mountain passes. And remember that... Uh, Malar, I think it is, who's got 23 points on the mountain. So if we can get another five here, we will close that lead from, uh, of course, eight points to only three. So that would be really positive before the climbs that will come a little bit later today. I'm going to put a bit of pace in here. Again, I would think that everybody, everybody else has got the energy. I don't think there should be a problem there. But now we know we've got plenty of energy. And seeing as we've got a feed um, after this, and there should be a problem. There are a few guys... Um, from the other teams. So there's three from the TDE, TDE team and two from NTT. So just bear in mind uh, here that we're the only rider without any support from our teammates. But that shouldn't be a problem. Uh, one of the TDE guys has fell down. Uh, well, not fell over, but uh, fell down this group. So that's a little bit of a shame for him, but I couldn't care less. But let's go for it here. Don't want to run out of energy before the end. Need to make sure that we don't. There's the line, though. No. Well... It's that old saying, we get second, I'll take that. We were caught napping there. 
You like that phrase, don't you? That, that's the only reason I use it. You like it. <laughs> but uh, Berger and McClay start to struggle, so we'll give them a bit of red gel. Red gel for some of the rest as well. Madu is actually doing pretty well on this climb. Just a shame he's not in good nick, because if he was, he'd be one of our main men. But Van Baal has been a brilliant signing so far. I think he's really been versatile, and that's just helped us out a lot. But three points. Again, we would have liked five, but it's certainly better than nothing. And uh, a good start to the mountain passes in today's stage. Well, a breakaway of six now becomes a breakaway of three. Posso Vivo still here, and look who's... Uh, Behind, I wonder if we can see him. Not quite in the distance, but Bargwill's trying to make some ground. I hope he doesn't. Only two points available on this third class climb, but they all add up, don't they? At the end of the day. But we have passed the feed zone. All of our guys in the peloton looking pretty good. Bjerge and McClay, uh, the two guys that are struggling the most. We can afford to put in a good shift here because uh, we've got a bit of a decline coming after this. The main thing is you do, we don't want to be caught napping again. That would be a real problem. So we'll wait till a bit later this time. Because we went a bit early last time, I think. We had to regulate our energy a bit more than we would have liked. This actually seems tougher, funnily enough, than the last one. Half kilometres to go. Let's go for it then. Yeah, this actually seems tougher. I think it is steeper at the top. I mean, there's no doubt it's steeper at the top. Come on, let's get the points this time. That's good. Even better is that Posso Vivo didn't get any points there. Great stuff. Very happy with that. Very, very happy with that. Now we've got a bit of a lull. And to be fair, we shouldn't need any of our gel during this stage because we've got a big downhill. So that's uh, that's positive to see. I'd rather Posso Vivo be... Yeah, there we go. I'd rather him be in this group, to be honest. Just set a low tempo, and uh, the rest of our guys are okay. Bjerg is fairly low on energy, but that should be fine uh, as we come back down the climb. So, a bit of a while till I see you guys next, but uh, again, we can chill for a bit now. Well, the other guys are starting to struggle. Carmijan and uh, Posavivo are starting to struggle here, so we're on our own at the front. Although it's certainly worth putting a bit of pace in here, just to try and make sure that those guys don't catch up. We've certainly got the energy. And again, another two points here. That would take our, our uh, total for the day up to nine. Of course, we are um, eight points behind Malar at the start of the stage. So this would give Van Baal the provisional polka dot jersey. And we haven't got to put too much energy in here. I think before the next climb, the Peloton will catch up. But it's been a great effort so far from Van Baal today. And uh, we shouldn't really have to make a sweat here to get to the top, to be honest. And I'm glad that Posse Vivo doesn't get any points again, unless Carmijan really makes a bad mistake. But that's good to see. So two climbs in quick succession here. We've got a bit of a downhill, and then it's time for the next climb. Well, it looks like they're hunting in twos here. The two guys are back together again, but we've got a nice gap to them. A nice 20-second uh, gap. And because they've worked so hard to catch up, we can now use a bit of our energy again. They're being handed out like sweets, these points are at the moment. I wouldn't get too cocky too early, because it could still go wrong for us here. But this is looking good. A very good stage for Van Baal. Peloton is starting to move here, so I think they'll catch those two guys pretty quickly. Uh, I don't know whether it's worth getting Gagan Hart to potentially put an attack in. Try and take those points off those guys. Might be a little bit too little too late, but we'll see. We'll see how uh, it goes. Just want to make sure that Van Baal gets the points, because I remember a few episodes ago, I don't know how it happened, but something very strange happened meant that he couldn't get the that couldn't make, get the points. Almost fell asleep a little. But there we go. Those are the points for Van Baal. And the Peloton's caught up to the two other escapees. Gagan Hart's up here. Posse Vivo is struggling. And here comes Gagan Hart. And that's a plus. Two pluses in a row there. Gagan Hart gets a point off the climb. But uh, most crucially, Malar is starting to struggle now. That's the man with the green jersey. I know it gets a bit uh, complicated sometimes. Uh, but uh, Malar is the man with the green jersey. And seeing as there's two points, uh, points classification sprints coming up, that is a big plus for us. Huge, huge, huge advantage. But I'll tell you what, Van Baal has got a nice gap here. 
Surely he can't go it alone. Could the dream become a reality here? We're into the last 20 kilometers and the peloton's closing. I just think it's going to be a little bit too tough for Van Baal to hold on here. But I tell you what, he's still got good energy levels. It's not like a usual breakaway where they're all going to be knackered. He's still got a good chance uh, to win the stage, to be honest. And I think the peloton is starting to catch up a little bit now. And I've been a bit guilty of just focusing on one man today, but how could we focus on anybody else? Uh, I think after this climb, we're going to have to put a bit more focus on Ben Swift. But to be honest, Van Ball's become our main sprinter and our main mountain climber. So everybody else has just become a little bit irrelevant. I mean, there's the peloton there. So I think we have to concede defeat to them. But we've got a lot of highlights coming up in the next 17 kilometres. One climb and two sprints. So here we are then at the final climb of the day. Five more points up for grabs here. And uh, as you can see, the peloton have now caught up. And that's not really any surprise, is it? Okay, I'm coming but uh, again, Van Baal's got good pace. We're going to get Geier Geigenhardt to come and protect uh, Van Baal just to try and get some more points. That's the aim of that. But straight after this, we have the end of the stage. So... Uh, we're looking at those two guys being near the top of the stage. And Van Baal has done an excellent job. If he was to be a bit knackered after this climb, then you'd fully respect him for that. I don't know where Gagenheit is. I can't see him. I just don't want to jeopardise his position too much. So, uh, where is he? Let's have a look where he is. Okay, he's not, he's not too far back, but we might have to take a bit of manual control just to push him through the group. I'll be conscious that when there's a kilometre to go, just to make sure that Van Baal's there, because there's definitely a good five points up, yeah, uh, yeah, there's definitely a good five points up for grabs here. Okay, Gagenhart's a lot better place than he was, I'm happy with that. Where is Van Baal? Don't tell me he's fell behind him. No, he's okay there, good. Gagenhart, again, protect Van Baal, try and get up there. Uh, for the rest of them, particularly Bjerge, McClay, okay, they're fine. I'll tell you what, though, we can get the other guys to put a bit of... maybe Actually, maybe not the sprinters. Yeah, that's a, that's a bit silly. But Van Baal, uh, Gagenhart and Medus. Again, if we can take some points here, that would be great. But just look at this climb. It looks absolutely horrible. Niave is starting to attack. Again, there's no point really reacting to that too much. Those guys aren't in with a chance. But Gagenhart's attacking. Oh, great. We've got pushed onto his bike. Come on, Gagenhart. I don't mind who gets it as long as it's someone from our gaff. Gagenhart's up there, but he's struggling. Yeah, Gagenhart, just tell him to follow and don't have a tie. But to be fair, he can take his red gel at this point, can't he? That's not too bad. So, I think we'll just go for it here with Van Baal. We've got nothing to lose, really. Ah, we can't really do it, can we? No, there's just too many guys here at the end of the day, to be honest. There's Gagenhart. The two guys at the front have gone a little bit. That's the hardest bit of the climb done, I think. Let's just uh, attack with Van Baal, try and get a point at least or something out of this. Oh dear, we're going to blow up here. We're going to blow up. Ah! No! <laughs> ah, you can't win them all. You can't win them all. Although I think we've misjudged that a little bit because we have got eight kilometres to go now. And we're going to we're gonna suffer a little bit, I think. Get them to take all their red gel. Yeah, I think we've mucked it up on these last few uh, sprints, I'll be honest. Oh, well. Right, just uh, try and catch for the stage victory. They've all tapped the gel, haven't they? Yeah, so same with Van Baal here. Okay, that's no problem now. Take that blue gel. Okay, Back on, back on course. Good, good, good. I mean, look at the decline here. That just shows how harsh that climb was. But, uh, oh, only a kilometre to all the point zone. I didn't realise it was that close. Well, let's go for it here with him. Where's Swifty? Swifty's a bit too far back now, so... Never mind. Take some of that blue gel. Again, we don't need too much here. Just as long as it's enough to compete for the last last one. Not too bothered about a few guys outscoring us here. But these are the top brass now, you can tell. You can definitely tell this is the top brass uh, 
category of riders. Got Van Baal and Gagenhart in here. I think we'll just get Gagenhart to follow any attacks. The main man, though, is uh, Van Baal at this present moment. I just want to make sure we get third here. Could be some very big points on offer. Bingo. 15 points for Van Baal. That is cracking. Did uh, Gagenhart manage to get anything? Let's have a look. There was 23 in that group, so he's got a good chance. You would think being there. Anything? No, okay. That's a bit unfortunate, but oh well. Uh, right, we'll give that... Uh, oh, whoops. We don't need to sell him to attack. He's all right where he is at the moment. Give the rest of these guys their gel. This looks to be a good stage at the moment. And it's been a very long one. Just to put it into perspective, these stages usually take me maybe half an hour maximum. This stage is... Uh, Took 45 minutes. Just a bit worried about the lack of blue energy here. Could be caught napping. And really, this last sprint is probably the most important one. How's Gagenhardt doing for energy? He's a little bit better. I think it might be time for Gagenhardt to try and steal some points. Okay, just think Van Baal's going to start struggling now. I just need to keep an eye on him. Make sure he doesn't blow up completely here. Yeah, just keep keeping that eye, but I think main focus switches to Tao Gagenhart now. Anybody dangerous for the point standings in this group? It doesn't actually look like it, which is good. How's Van Baal looking? We'll just tell him to follow and not override now. He's done what he needs to do for the day. I don't think this last sprint's going to be too much of a worry for him. But the top 20 of the stage was our aim with Tao Gagenhart, and with one kilometre to go. Let's go for it. Those guys at the front are struggling. Let's see how you can get on. Come on, Gagan Hart. How's it going to finish? Right up to the inside rail. Second for Gagan Hart. Awesome. Excellent stuff. The man with the yellow jersey, I think it's Valverde. He wins the stage. Credit to him. It wasn't a dream come true for Van Baal, but the work he's done today, it's completely understandable that he was tired out before the end. But uh, from our two main guys in this tour, that was an absolutely fantastic stage. If you had a man of the stage, if it was uh, like Sky Sports Football, man of the match, it would have to surely be Van Baal. But uh, credit to Gagenhart as well for this final sprint. To finish second uh, is a real credit. Good stuff to him. Good stuff to him. I mean, good uh, good work from him or good effort from him. Good stuff from Good stuff to him. That's a bit rude. Good stuff from him. Yeah, you know what I mean. <laughs> Right, let's have a look at the standings after this stage then. So who's going to be the winner? It is Valverde again, who wins the stage. And uh, who's the leader of the point standings? Is it Valverde? It might well be. Yeah, it's Valverde. Oh, general classification, sorry. Apologies. Falling to sleep there, but there is a new leader of the points classification. I wonder who it is. It's Van Baal. Going into the last stage, we have the green jersey, and surely we also have the polka dot jersey. I wonder what the points totals are like, but uh, a brilliant day for Van Baal. Absolutely fantastic stuff. And the young rider, um, still, no surprise really, is Pogger Car. Great stage. Great, guys. I wasn't expecting anything from this stage. And you bring home a podium place? Well done to you all. We take the green jersey. It's a good day. Well, a credit to our other guys as well. Ben Swift finished 32nd, despite not being a mountain rider. Lawless as well did well there. Madua's 47th. Very, very solid attempt. Nine crucial points in the mountains classifications with Ban... Uh, I was going to say Ban Val. <laughs> with Van Baal there. Um, 35 points for the points classification. 28 for Gagan Hart. Just to put it into perspective. Malar didn't get a single one. Even Mikel Biersch chucked himself in with two points. Very good. Excellent. So let's have a look what the standings are going to the final stage. Van Baal moves up to 15th. Gagenhart also into the top 20. Van Baal moves a point above Malar, but puts some distance between himself and uh, Barguil. That'll be crucial going to that last stage. Points classification. Solid lead of 12 points. Young rider classification. Gagenhart goes into second. That was really solid. Gagenhart gave himself 30 points there. Van Baal, 8 points. So another 38 points to our total. This is uh, going really well. 
Obviously taking two jerseys, so if we can retain those, more pro cycling ranking points. And I'll tell you what I'm going to do. That was a long stage. And uh, I think this video could become really, really, really long if we do both. So it's a bit of a change of program. We're just going to do the single stage today. We will bring you the final stage of Paris-Nice in the next video on Thursday. It is going to be a brutal one. Two first-class climbs, three second-class climbs, and three sprints. The fact that there's four climbs before that first feed zone makes me feel a little bit sick. But uh, you'll see how that gets on on Thursday. What a brilliant stage that was. That's probably one of the most enjoyable stages I've had for a long, long time. But if you enjoyed that, make sure to leave a like down below. Comment your thoughts as well and subscribe for regular Tour de France content. Of course, we've got the next episode, which will show the final stage of Paris-Nice on Thursday. See if we can gain some points in the pro cycling rankings. That would be awesome. Again, being that we can't win the event now uh, with the general classification, the polka dot jersey and the green jersey is our aim. And of course, if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, make sure to subscribe for regular Tour de France content. I won't keep you any longer though. Thank you for watching. Have a good rest of your day and I will see you guys later. Goodbye for now.